Hi. Hello. So here we are with our Miss International Queen Philippines Calabarzon, Kalayaan Angon Rizal. Mm -hmm. Na hindi pa city, pero soon, eventually, eventually so. magiging city na. <laughs> so, may you please introduce yourself to all of our viewers. Thank you. Hello everyone, Mabuhay. My name is Raven Lozo. I'm 27 years old and I was born and raised in this quaint little town of Angon Rizal. And I still couldn't believe that I'm saying this at this point. I am one of the chosen few to be part of Miss International Queen 2024, Calabarzon. All right. So, ayun ang nga. Um, is this your first time joining a national pageant? Well, it is, yes. Um, way back in my heydays, when I was a bit younger, I used to join pageants. Um, mm -hmm. 2011, up until 2014. So, it uh -huh. used to be somewhat my bread and butter because when I was um, probably around 13, 14 years old, um, I said to I really have to medically transition. Unfortunately, back then, kasi we don't necessarily have the resources. Yeah. Right? So, micro-micro lang, logentrol. Yes. So, I said, I got to buy hormones. I was born in high school, ako, it was only 20 pesos a day. Mm -hmm. And I have to travel. I have to try pa ako. I have to eat my lunch as well. So, I was able to get a So, I was able to get my pageant. In a way, yeah. I'm so proud of you because yun nga you you use your resources well and was able to earn in order for you to transition. So, what is your advice to everyone struggling with their transition? God. I would say um, for them to just wait for their perfect. So what I observe with the Filipino or the young Filipino transgender community is that they tend to parang, they tend to what's the word for that? Kasi yung nagmamadali sila yeah. for the medical transition mm -hmm. hindi dapat kasi lalo sila napapasama I for one would give myself an example using yung over-the-counter na Mga yeah. hormones. Yes. Na ka high blood siya, di ba? Parang mm -hmm. in hindsight, I shouldn't have done that. Pero back then, kasi, in order for me to get secondary female characteristics as a boobs, makinis sa balat, inisi ko that time feminine voice, mag ma micro lang ako, lo, uh -oh. ng mga over the counter. Pero as I grew older, don't ko, alam mo, nagma manifest uh -oh. yung mga ano niya, adverse effects niya sa akin. So, for those young people out there that are planning to medically transition, you are very lucky to have a lot of resources at this point. Shopee, diba? Kung baga parang yung mga hormones natin are readily available yeah. for you guys. Um, please, take your time. Think of it. Think about it twice, guys. Kasi if this is really for you, regardless of what age you are in, you can and you will be able to transition. Huwag yung madaliin. I understand. Actually, uh, I transitioned consistently late in my late 20s. Late 20s. And, yeah, late 20s. I am now in my 30s, honestly. Uh, thanks to Love Yourself, uh, I was able to transition then. But I guess uh, people should, I mean, people who are transitioning should be seeking for professional advice, Correct. I guess. So, ayun. seek your endocrinologist or your gynecologist um, assistant for the transition. So, ayun, uh, with, with that being said, do you have any advocacies? I do. Yes. Yeah. So, this was a question that was asked to me earlier. So, when mm -hmm. I was being, you know, made up by my cousin, by the way, Arky Santos from Mangono Rizal, great makeup artist. So, he asked me if I have an advocacy. So, sabi ko sa kanya, um, I'm not sure if this will sit well with the judges or perhaps the other candidates or mm -hmm. the crowd even. Sabi ko kasi, um, if you're going to think about it, you know, people like us, people in the community, the LGBT community, we have allies, right? I mean, this to say we have each other. Yeah. So, if there's anything that would happen to us, at least we know that we have each other's backs. Yes. Right? Pero, 
na kasi ako I'm a furry mom of two beautiful dogs. So, mm -hmm. ang advocacy ko would be to, you know, kind of be the voice of stray cats and stray dogs. I know it sounds mm -hmm. funny, but I really no, no, want no. to represent those who kind of want to give shelter or aid yung mga animal shelters natin in our specific towns. Particularly yung sa akin, um, I already have a charity in mind, pero mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm, um, tagito, I'm allowed to disclose it. But needless to say yun, I would like to advocate for stray pets. I think meron na mga animal shelters. I think sa Antipolo meron. I'm not sure here ng ano, do you guys have any? Yes, pero, um, there's actually one, mm -hmm. ano, dito, animal shelter which used to be in Antipolo. Tapos mm -hmm. nag-transfer sila sa Binangonan. Mm -hmm. Sila yung nag-ulfo. Unfortunately, um, kumbaga parang going through several researches, it's actually not necessarily the owner's fault. It's more of the people around them or the neighborhood um, telling them na it's a nuisance, not the point. Kasi nga naman ang daming aso magkakakahol. Pero... Kaya ganun, kasi nga ang daming aso, and kaya madaming aso, no, maganda naman kasi yung, ano niya, yung aim niya, which is to really help the strays. Um, nakakalungkot lang kasi na-escalate sila, and you know, they were forced to transfer into a place na they don't even know how to navigate, they don't even know people there, tapos the land in and of itself is kind of pricey for them to support. Mm -mm. So, hopefully, you know, one way or another, may it be through this competition or in other means, sana makatulong ako dun sa cherry. Yes. And, speaking of owning, you're owning dogs, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you, what's your opinion on habitat loss of our, you know, endangered species? Well, it's truly sad because you know, these animals or these um, species that we are losing day by day, mm -hmm. if you're going to think about it, they're not really coming back. And needless to say, life din sila. They're also created by God. And unfortunately, with human activities na nakakapekto negatively with them or to, towards them, um, it's disappointing, I would say, because humans are very reckless towards nature, and what happens is that their, you know, um, entities that couldn't really speak for themselves are negatively impacted and couldn't really defend themselves, which with such. So, you know, it's it's just really frustrating for me. I would say. I understand. All right. So, what's your message to? the transgender community in general? The message for the trans community. I, ito, um, this one has been lingering in my mind for quite some time now. I'm looking at you directly. Yes. If you are a trans woman and you have a certain notion or idea of how a trans woman should look like, how a trans woman should behave, or how a trans woman should conduct themselves. Throw it out the window. Walang mold, or walang certain mold, ang pagiging transgender. At the end of the day, it's still you, right? It's what's in here. So, hopefully, you won't have to chase the beauty standards of how a transgender female should look like, or, you know, the latest trends and hormones because you know switching hormones per month is not really good for your health yeah um at the end of the day your intellectual capacity is something that has to shine through it has to be your focus mm -hmm. your physical attributes alam nyo in time ang umulubot kayo you'll grow old you'll grow gray mm -hmm. diba but your intellectual capacity is something that you can bring until you die Ayon. And lastly, what's your message to all your supporters, especially here in Angona, Rizal? I don't think I have a lot, but you know, I would like to take this chance to really thank them from the bottom of my heart. Um, 
it's been a while since I joined, you know, Bufons, mga barangay and beauty pageants, and I never really expected for this kind of opportunity to come forth. Kasi, regional preliminaries for, you know, a national pageant, for a mm -hmm. national title. And it's been seven or eight years ago mm -hmm. since I last joined, diba? So, but I would say it's opportune for me to really grab this chance. Mm -hmm. And, yes, sobrang thank you po sa lahat ng nag-effort, sa lahat ng pumunta, bumiyahe, papunta ng angono. Kahit umuulan, kahit nag-switch ng venue last minute, you still um, made it a point to show up and show your love and support. So, I will be forever grateful. All right. Thank you so much, our Miss International Queen Philippines, Carla Barzon, 2023-2024. And good luck on your MIQPH journey. Thank you.